I'm Ellis Martin. Join me now for a conversation with Adam Smith, co-founder and vice president of business development for Oroco Resource Corp., a public mineral exploration company trading on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol OCO and in the U.S. on the OTCQB market under the symbol ORRCF. Oroco is focused on the development of a large copper deposit in the Santo Tomas project in coastal northwest Mexico. Santo Tomas hosts a multi-billion pound copper resource defined by historical drilling and currently being confirmed by ongoing exploration drilling by Oroco. Copper mineralization at Santo Tomas is located at surface and therefore potentially amenable to low-cost mining methods. It's very well located with respect to the infrastructure that's essential to a large mining operation. And Mexico is among the world's top mining jurisdictions with laws and trade agreements that protect the rights of mining companies. Since commencing exploration and resource definition at Santo Tomas three years ago, Oroco has made a series of rapid advances and the year ahead is rich with catalysts such as a formal resource definition and economic evaluation, each of which carries the possibility of a company valuation re-rating. These milestones will be achieved against the backdrop of a positive forecast for the price of copper, possibly to historical highs, as a result of dramatic shifts in metals' importance to industrial and consumer markets. Adam, welcome back to the program. It's great to visit with you today. Thanks, Ellis. I look forward to speaking. Tell us what's been happening in the last month and a half or so since we spoke at the beginning of February. Rogo has just published a new release on the most recent drill results. In there, we describe additional successful holes at our Santa Tomas project and that we're nearing the end of the first phase of drilling, which has so far constituted about 49,000 meters of drilling. That's almost 30 miles of drill core if laid end to end. 76 holes have now been drilled at Santa Tomas. We've tested the mineralized structure down to a depth of 700 meters, almost 2,300 feet, which is double the depth that it had been drilled historically. We've tested 3,500 meters of strike. That's over two miles of length of a mineralized structure at Santa Tomas, including an additional mile to the north that has been tested by exploratory holes, which were successful in finding copper, but not drilled with enough definition to define a resource that can wait till later. So we are nearing the end of a very successful and very large first phase of drilling. It has been an out-and-out success. Our goal was to test a very large historical resource at Santa Tomas, some seven or eight billion pounds of copper in that historical resource. We have largely recreated the drill success of that past program and significantly expanded the area that has been drill tested and where copper mineralization has been delineated. So it's been a terrific success. What will follow is a mineral resource estimate and an economic assessment of the potential of a mine at Santa Tomas. When do you think we might see that happening? So the company has provided some indication in the past of when both the resource estimate and the preliminary economic assessment will be published. I would expect to see both of those in the next two quarters with the mineral resource estimate coming first. The copper prices made a nice comeback. We're definitely making some headway in that area. Do you feel that there's an invigoration going on now within the mining? industry specifically related to copper and how has it affected the Santa Tomas project? Copper is the metal to be exploring for and developing right now. It is the driver of our decarbonization and electrification efforts. It is the one metal that all the world's major mining companies are looking to expand in. And it is the one metal that will carry the economy over the next century. In fact, Goldman Sachs has called copper the new oil, underscoring its importance. So yes, there is a lot of attention that investors are paying to copper exploration and development companies like ourselves. It is the right time to be developing an asset like Santa Tomas, the end of a period of a rapid decline in the rate of discovery of new copper resources. So to be a company on the verge of publishing a compliant mineral resource, potentially containing many billions of pounds of copper, is a very good thing to be. Copper demand is forecast to increase at much higher than historical rates. The world is set to use more copper in the next generation than it has in all of industrial history. And it's doing so at a time when historical copper resources, those big sources of copper to industry are aging and production is expected to decline from them. And the rate of discovery of new copper resources has hit all-time lows and the pipeline of new projects to meet future demand is at historic lows. So copper explorers, copper producers, and developers like ourselves will be in the future price setters, not price takers. The forecast of copper prices in the future is sufficiently high, I think, to suggest to investors that they should be positioned in copper. There was a time where copper was not coupled to gold. You'd see a rise in gold, and then again, copper would take a dive if the gold market was doing well. Now we see them sort of moving together. Yeah, but that's a very good point, Ellis. Copper has come to be seen as a good investment. It is understood to respond better to inflation than 
than even gold does. And the investment world is waking up to the potential for copper, not simply to meet industrial demand, but copper exposure as the right thing to do for an investment portfolio. Copper does respond in times of economic growth better than gold does. Gold tends to respond better in times of crisis, as we saw last week. Almost immediately after the banking crisis seemed to be on its way to resolution over the weekend, gold prices subsided and copper prices increased. So as we move forward into this decade, it's forecast that the deficits between supply and demand are going to start to grow and that copper prices are going to increase at much higher than historical rates. So it's a very exciting time for investors to look into exposure to copper. And in particular, companies like ourselves who are going to transition from being exploration companies to being companies with a compliant copper resource. It allows the investment community to start to value companies based on contained metal, based on discounted future cash flows. And we see that that as an opportunity in Oroco to increase the enterprise value of the company and attract an entirely new set of bigger and more serious investors. Well, now certainly would seem like the time. Adam, what have we got coming up during the spring and summer months? Our first phase of drilling at Santa Tomas, as I mentioned earlier, very large 30 miles of drill core, 76 drill holes will come to an end soon. Following that, we can expect to see a mineral resource estimate using that drill data. And following that, an economic assessment of Santa Tomas, which looked at the capital cost, the operating cost, and the potential cash flows at various copper prices and gives figures such as net present value, internal rate of return, the types of things that investors can use to evaluate Santa Tomas in relation to its peers. A relatively small group of similarly large and advanced projects held by junior mining companies that are going to be the source of new copper production in the future. And which can be expected to be the subject of acquisitive interest by the world's large mining companies. I'm sure you know there's a great deal of concern now in the market, Adam, with regard to a potential recession, the likelihood or hopefully the stalling off of a general bank failure. I feel like we may have dodged a bullet recently, but maybe that there's more ammunition in that particular gun. How do you feel going forward with regard to the equities and specifically Oroco? The exploration and development of a project as large as Santa Tomas typically takes many years, though that period of time can span a number of capital market cycles. So we have seen those cycles throughout the development of Santa Tomas, and we have moved the project forward despite them. But I think the current copper price is just over $4, which in the context of history is a high price. So if this is the price of copper we get during uncertain times, then I very much look forward to what the price of copper might be during more certain times and periods of growth and periods of increased demand from industry. So I think if we look at the capital market cycles and we look at the cycles of rising and falling metal prices in particular, rising and falling copper prices, and we overlay Oroco's exploration plans and expectations of the release of, for instance, compliant resource estimate and a compliant preliminary economic assessment, we can see that perhaps this is the right time and the right asset, and we will be coming into better equity markets at a time when Oroco is releasing the kind of information that can be used to both value the company, to pay definitive values on the asset we have, as well as to attract the kind of acquisitive interest that big copper assets are going to see from major mining companies. So the idea of releasing compliant resource, preliminary economic assessment, and doing so at a time of rising copper prices and improving equity markets is really quite exciting for us. Well, Adam, it's always great to catch up with you. I look forward to the next time that we chat. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for joining me today in the program. And to you as well, Alice. Thank you so much. It's always good to talk and to share the story of our company with your listeners. I've been speaking with Adam Smith, co-founder and vice president of business development for Oroco Resource Corp. Oroco trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol OCO and in the U.S. on the OTCQB market under the ticker symbol ORRCF. Go to the company's website, OrocoResourceCorp.com. For Adam Smith and Oroco Resource Corp., I'm Ellis Martin. Subscribe to the Ellis Martin Newsletter. It's free. Go to ellismartinreport.com and fill out the quick and easy pop-up form.